What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with your Flipper Zero Wi-Fi dev board. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to this website. I'll attach it down in the description. So, you'll just head over here. Then, you'll take your Wi-Fi dev board. You have to, have to, have to, have to hold down boot while plugging it in. And then you plug it in and then you let go of the boot button. Then, oh, so over here you hit connect, and then you just tap whichever one is your dev board. So this one is mine, then you hit connect. So you would select the Flipper dev board, that's the official one from Flipper Zero, and then you would go over here, I would just hit latest, just because that's the newest one. Marauder. Because no one really uses black magic. I don't even know what it does. So then you just hit program. So right now it's flashing. And it should only take like a couple seconds. But just remember guys, when you are plugging this in, you have to hold down boot or else it doesn't work. It's something with the configuration. Okay. So it says flashing process completed. So just hit the little button that says reset on your board and you should see that all it goes through the colors and then you unplug your board. Then you're going to plug in you're going to plug it into your flipper zero at the GPIO pins on the top and you can plug your flipper zero in. So I'm just going to open my flipper zero up. Oh Make sure to close this out or else it's going to start trying to update your flipper. It doesn't do anything, but you just don't want it doing that. So, as you can see, it's just on the normal page of the flipper, but the dev board is plugged in. So then you're going to head over to labs.flipper.net. Again, don't worry, this link will be in the description, so you can just check there for it. Cannot connect a flipper. Oh, yep, I have to close this out try again now it's connected to my flipper so we are going to head down to apps and then in here we are going to sh search for ESP flasher right there and I already have it you would just hit this button so in my case I'm gonna hit update but you would hit install so now that it's installed we can head on over to Flipper. Just gotta X that out. And we go into our Flipper. And then if we hit the center, we can go into Apps. And then scroll down to GPIO. Then you'd go down to... Not this flasher, but if you go down just a little bit more... Hold well on, I'll find it. Where? I don't know where it is. Go oh, the last one because I just installed it. But the reason I have so many apps is because I'm running the extreme firmware, which I sh talked about in my last video. And again, guys, this will be a series, so I'll be posting a new video every day. So then you'll head into ESP Flasher. You then you have to go down. Enter bootloader, and then it'll just say waiting for download. Just hit back. And then, I'm going to show you, you have to head back on over to your computer, and you have to head over to Talking Sasquatch's GitHub. He also makes a lot of tutorials for the Flipper Zero as well. Uh, right here. Then you'd go down to, which one was it? Um, single file Wi-Fi dev board, dual boot, and then a dual boot flipper or wover. And then you'd go over here, guys, and hit download raw file. So then that'll download. I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder, but don't change the name because that will mess it up. Then, you are going to head back over to this thing on the flipper, 
I'm just going to hit back. And you go to over here. You go to SD card. You go to... Where is it? Apps data. Then you scroll down until you find... Oh, ESP Flasher. And then I already have it, but you just hit upload here. And then you'd go into your thing and you'd type in, um, what's it called? I already forgot what it's called. Oh, dual, see, right here, dual boot flipper over dot bin. So then you'd hit that, you'd hit open, upload it anyway. So that's just going to take a couple seconds. And as soon as it's done, we will continue. Just a couple more seconds. Okay, and now it is done. So then you would head back over to your flipper, and on your flipper, you'd hit Flash ESP, Bootloader, and then you'd hit dual boot or rover. Then you'd scroll down. You could either do fast or slow. I'm just going to do fast just because, well, it's fast and I don't really want to keep you guys waiting. But it'll just erase the flash as you can see. It's erasing the flash. And we can close this out because we won't need that anymore. And go back over there. Just erasing everything. Takes pretty quick. It doesn't take very long. I'm just going to wait and skip to the end for you guys so you won't have to wait a long time. And we are back. It just says make sure to auto reset your board. So on your board, it'll say reset. You have to press that. So now just pop that up. And if you guys want to see part two, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll post it tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to join the Discord and make sure to like and subscribe.